hello welcome to our python um, installation video so i'm going to record this video to help you install python on your laptop so we are going to install a python interpreter so quickly uh, go to your chrome application open it and type into your browser um install no download download python so when you type download python you press enter and you select the very first um the very first um, link that comes up to download python so it goes directly to the python um, web site and you see download the download button here so we are downloading the version 3.11.3 .3, and every month they keep on updating it so this is the latest version so you click on download and um as you can see my download has been completed because i've already downloaded it so you just quickly completed it so then you open your file to get it launched so as um so our python interpret um, our python installation processes has begun so you see that um install python install now customize installation then it says use admin privileges when installing the python exe which has already been ticked that's good and add python exe to pad you also have to take this one for future purposes if you don't take it um we may get some troubles later um when you are trying to import certain packages using the uh, pip installation procedures but then forget about all the literature just take it and click on install now so we install now begins so i would um pause the video temporarily so that when it's done installing then we continue i don't want to waste too much time here so video has been so um our python is um almost done installing and as you can see so our python is done installing then you just click on close for now so Now let's check if our Python is available. So we say Python on a 64 bits. So when we open our Python, you can see that our Python app is, is working perfectly. And we can close it, exit. We will learn how to use it later. Then we also, and now also one point I have to mention is that Anytime you install um, Python, it comes along with another application called the IDLE. So let's see if the IDLE is also installed. IDLE. So we have the IDLE here too. And we open our IDLE, we realize that, um, so this application, we didn't install it, but as we're installing Python, it comes along with it. And it's also similar to Python, but just it has a little bit of graphics so let us exit or close the idle so we know that both applications are have been installed okay so um one more thing we have to do is to put the, the shortcut on our desktop if you don't know how to do it this is how we do it so you search for python um so once you find your python piece so once you find your python you go to open file open file location so we open file location then after opening the files location we right click on python then we go to more options and we say send to desktop create shortcut it creates a shortcut here for us then we also right click on idle then we say show more options then we say send to desktop create shortcuts it also creates another shortcut for us close our files but then we have our two shortcuts um that has been successfully installed thank you for watching this video